Check this out, YouTube. Saw a homeless guy yesterday with a sign that said he needed food or money. And he had three full-size dogs on leashes. These wasn't regular old dogs. These were like horse dogs. And they looked healthy. What is the world coming to when a nut job is going to try to make you believe he can't feed himself when he's got three beasts on ropes that probably eat 50 pounds of food a day each. I hope he ain't letting the dog starve. Maybe they'll just turn on him and all three of the dogs will just eat that worthless moron. Then I'll pick up the dogs and I'll bring them home and I'll feed them. If you're going to try to bum money off me and say you can't eat, don't be holding three giant man-eating dogs. What's the matter with you? Good gracious. But anyway, today i talk about this holster. I've made a video on the white hat holsters, which I do like. But I'm trying out these alien gear holsters. If you've never heard of them, check them out. They have a website. I believe it's just aliengear.com. But this one here is for my car, MK9, which is unloaded and safe and extremely heavy as I mentioned in a previous video but this is a hybrid type holster tuckable holster like a crossbreed or a white hat or many others this one is called alien gear this particular one is their standard I believe they call it a cloak tuck it is just one thick piece of leather and it's a nice piece of leather it's thick it's smooth you can get it in black the the main thing the main draw to these is the price <coughs> this just standard leather brown leather is right around 30 bucks you can't beat that and it's don't let the price fool you a lot of times you get what you pay for but I believe this might be one of the rare instances, instances where you get more than you in fact pay for. Because this seems to be a nice holster. I've been wearing it pretty much regular for three weeks now, maybe. I do like these nylon belt clips. You have the option of steel. The uh, crossbreeds and the white hats come with spring steel. You can get the spring steel on these as well for no additional cost, but they recommend the nylon, so I went with it, and I really like the clips. Not sure if you can see, but when they hook your belt, they they don't let go, and they don't scratch up and mutilate your expensive gun belt like some of the steel clips do. So I'm a big fan of these nylon clips, and I'm going to get a set of these nylon clips for my white hat holster that I use with my Glock 26. Now another unique feature of Alien Gear is the tension is adjustable with these rubber, these little rubber bushings here. And it also comes with a kit, each one of them. It has several different sizes of rubber bushings with the screws and an Allen wrench to adjust it. For what you're paying, you're getting quite a bit here, I'm going to tell you. And they also have a lifetime warranty on all their materials. Now, I'm not a spokesman for them by any means. I bought these. They didn't send them to me for free or nothing. <coughs> they have a lifetime shell Kydex replacement. If you decide you want a different gun, you can send them whatever gun you got it for back, and they'll send you a different one for free. But you can also just buy additional Kydex shells, and they're a very reasonable price, too. Now, a lot of dope heads, when they try out a holster like this, they want to hold it upside down and shake it. And that's how they... Let me adjust this camera. They want to shake and hold. This one is holding, but that's not how you judge the retention of a holster like this because when you put it on 
it's going to be inside your belt and your pants and it's going to push the back of this leather in it's going to be plenty of retention there i promise you this ain't the way to test it even though it is holding i could shake it though and it probably fall out but this here is the regular cloak tuck i believe is what they call it you can get it in black i think it's a couple extra bucks if you want it black but you're not going to see this anyway all this is going to be pretty much inside your pants so the color of the leather had, don't really mean anything to me. I see a lot of these companies, you can pay extra and get Kydex with designs and stuff on them. And why? It's in your pants. If you ain't got pants on where people can see this, you ain't got no way to hold the holster up. So I don't really care what color the leather is. But if you do want black leather, you can get it for a couple extra bucks. Now, this is the cloak. Like I said, they have a 2.0, which I happen to have here. Now, this one is for a Glock 30, I believe. It does have the spring steel clips, and they're tough, but you could get the plastic or nylon as well. Now, this one is a layer of... They got their logo embossed on it there, but this particular backing has a layer of vinyl, material sewed to a neoprene and that's really soft and it should feel nice up against you i guess but I, i've never used this holster but it seems to be nice and it's really soft it should be no break-in required this is the cloak tuck 2.0 and then they also have a cloak tuck 3.0 which has what they call alien skin and then it has a thin piece of steel stainless steel sewed in between it and the neoprene backing and it, you're going up a little bit in each one of these models but check out their website alien gear cloak tuck they also make an outside the waistband and i have one of them i should have got it out but it's just the standard Kydex on a piece of leather like this with the leather belt loops in the back. It's nice as well. I really don't carry outside the waistband. But if you do, they have you covered there too. So I like the leather. That's just me. You can get the 2.0 or you can get the 3.0. Their gun list is ridiculous. They have an extensive gun list. And if you don't, if you got a gun that's not on their list, I'd be surprised. But if you do, you can probably contact them and they'll find it. Comes in a black bag, alien gear. It's it's a really nice, nicely made product. Now how they hold up in the long haul, I'm not sure. But what I am sure of is they have a lifetime warranty. So shouldn't be no problem there's not much really to fail here it's a nice thick piece of leather i'd say it's a good eighth inch thick solid piece of leather the back is smooth it comes with all the accessories to change the tension you can tighten them down loosen them up change the size of the spacers they're really nice product and I think they're worth checking out in the price you can't beat the price if you're in if you're in the market for a tuckable holster if you've never even tried one these are very reasonably priced if you just want to give one a try I believe this one is 29 or 34 uh, it's there you check it out on the website it's it's very reasonable compared to your crossbreeds and other white hats and stuff like that. You can throw a $100 bill on one of them real quick. And I ain't saying they're not worth it. <coughs> I like my white hat. I really like my white hat, and I'll always use my white hat. What I will do, though, is change out my clips on the white hat to some of these nylon clips. I'm really impressed with how these nylon clips work. They grab a hold to your belt, they hold on, and they don't mutilate your belt in the process. Now, I'm going to show a gun. I'm not going to show a gun. I'm going to show the box of a gun that I'm going to do a 
video on shortly. I've been shooting it a little. Took it in on a trade. Not a huge fan of what it is, but I've been shooting it. I put all oh, 100 rounds through it. I'm going to put two or three more 100 through it. Maybe at least, I'm going to at least get 250 through it before I make a video on it. And then I'll probably end up selling it or trading it. Or, but that's what's coming if I don't quit making videos all together. I bought, when I did that trade, I got some ammo with it. The guy gave me some, I don't know if you can see this or not. But that is one gnarly looking bullet in that. Looks like a bunch of solid copper petals. I have no idea. They were in the magazine when I got it. The magazine was in the box and it was full of these things. I don't know the grain. I don't know. I don't, I'm not sure what they are. They look gnarly. I'll give you that. I'll probably shoot them just to see what they do. But it looks like solid copper and a bunch of little petals that will break apart. I have no idea what grain they are. They're 9 millimeter. That's all I know. If I had a magnifying glass or something, I might could read the head stamp on the thing and tell something about them. But anyway, they're mean looking anyway. But I'm going to shoot this Smith & Wesson M&P some more and I'll make a little video on it. Still coming up with something to give away from 100 subscribers, so stay tuned for that if you can stand to. But beware of homeless people with dogs. Beware of dogs that are hungry. But I started to stop and give him a bag of dog food and then just punch him in the face. But the dogs didn't look hungry. I promise you that. They looked like they were eating. He looked like he was eating. He probably had a brand new car around the corner from where he was sitting. That's the way it goes a lot of times. But if you're going to try to convince me that you're starving to death, don't bring out a pack of dogs that look like they could pull you across the Arctic Circle. That's all I'm saying. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.